Hey, hey, here we go again. I'm on my rounds again, y'all. Thursday morning. May. So anyway, I'm going to show you a little something around here. I got some good stuff here. And sometimes I always have problems turning around, so I'm out to. Remember I telling you about the barbershop? Well, this is the, uh, uh, a little thing we got here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I just want to show you the barbershop. That's, that's what's going on. But anyway. Um, we're going to be talking tonight about uh, Santa Rosa. Oh, let me get it right. About Santa Rosa. Oh, not Santa Rosa. Talk about that. Oh, let's see. Triple A Confunction Days. That's what we're going to talk about. Triple A Confunction Days. So, I had came back from college. I left, went to college, came back, found out I had a four year old kid, and I had to get serious. So, um, Got a job at AAA. Ran into a friend of mine, Eric Knox. We all went to school together. Sisters, Wanda. We all went to school together. We both had sisters named Wanda. Wanda Knox, what's up, girl? Wanda, I know you're married now. You got a new name. But anyway, um, I was telling Eric, you know, I want a job. I need to get on the payroll down there. AAA, man, need some money. So, and you ended up working at AAA. Working in the filing department, right? So I'm... I met this lady named Gamma, rest in peace, Gamma. She passed away from cancer, bug up her heart. Uh, peace and love to her kids, Felicia, Byron. And I hope you guys get this. Anyway, um, so during that time, I was, uh, I had met Confunction, you know, during my time hanging at Data Mat. So uh, Danny Thomas did one of my first demos. And he's doing his thing. Felton Pilot did some demos with me. Then they uh, had a session one day where they, uh, excuse me for a minute, uh, it's going to be some noise here, y'all, y'all, excuse me, get these keys ready, because it's going to be some noise in your ear, let me pause on that note there for Danny Thomas and stuff, uh, we're going to pause on that one for a minute, y'all, pause for the calls, got to make this money, told you, uh-uh. so anyway, get back to the story. So, you know, uh, me and Danny Thomas did some stuff in the studio. Uh, Felton Pilot helped me with my one of my demos. That's where I met Pebbles. Pebbles was hanging out um, at Felton's studio that day. Didn't know she was going to be big like that. But anyway, um, from there, oh, yeah, they, did, they had a studio. They did a party. Uh, they did a song called Love's Train during that time. They were at Russian Hill Studios, and then they needed a party. Um, cry for this next song, Party. I don't forget the name of it. But anyway, um, at the time I was doing a fashion. I was in a fashion show with Belial. These were Interscope. Those cats over there doing their thing too. Um, Belial was heading that show, so um, I invited Belial and the crew to come over. And then Confunction gave us some champagne, and we was partying. So we created a party scene for one of their songs. So anyway. Um, Went on through that little phase, and uh, uh, me and Velma, I had, what happened with me and Velma was, uh, how I, how'd I ended up with her was, uh, I had just got back from college, right? And my stepdad was kind of mad at me, because before I left co- for college, I took the car to Cadillac and took a little joy ride. Got my mom in a lot of trouble that night, though. Real bad, 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 bad night. But anyway, we survived. So anyway, um, uh so anyway, so when I came back, I got that job. I spent the night, a weekend at Velma's house. So, my stepfather meets me at the uh, he meets me at the door. He says, uh, he says, um, I'm gonna go backwards this time, you guys. Anyway, um, he says, give me your key. Go back to where you came from. Put me out. There I was again, 19, on my own. So I uh, wrote my grandmother, who was so sweet to me. She had got me a car in college. I told her I need a car. She sent me, sold the car, sent the money to me, bought me a Thunderbird. Oh, classic Thunderbird. So I'm in living with uh, Velma, got me a car. So what happened to AAA was, oh, shoot. What happened to AAA was, uh, I was in the filing department, so I had to file all these damn papers, man. You know, all the, all the bills that come in, you know? You had to file them in, the, in the, uh, their files. So I got behind on it, right? 
and I, and I started stashing the stuff behind, behind the rack. So one day it caught up with me. They knew what I was doing all the time. So Debbie, my supervisor, not, not my friend Debbie, but the other Debbie, my supervisor at AAA, um, needless to say, I was gone. After that, my boy Mark Hayes came through for me. He was working at Hastings Law School as security. So again, my best buddy hooked me up. So I uh, got a job there. Man, I was wild there, too. He caught me sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Mark, anyway. But anyway, uh, uh, after that, uh, AAA days, uh, confunction, and I stayed in touch. They doing anything, y'all. Y'all go get their stuff. Man, they doing anything. Our local, like I said, let's support our Bay Area. Uh, Cooper and them, Felton them. They still doing their thing, y'all. Let's support them. Um, well, anyway. During that time, man, I'm like I said, I'm still trying to do my thing, you know, still trying to do my demos and, you know, um, uh, first song I ever did really was Never Too Much, Never Too Late. Because I just started, uh, I was like about uh, 85, yeah, I was around 82, y'all, uh, my AAA days, confronting is about 82. But anyway, um, man, yeah, a long time ago. But anyway, I'm lost my train of thought, y'all, let's get back on track. But anyway, um, Kept doing my demos, and my first song I ever did was Never Too Late, because I was thinking that, damn, I'm getting old, you know? I was like 20, 23, you know? 24, so I was like, so I wrote that song, Never Too Late. And Chase sang that song, too. Never Too Late, So Wait For Love. Anyway, uh, on to the next, you guys. I'm going to get back to you. That's enough for right now. So I'm signing off. But uh, holla at Felton, Mike Cooper, all y'all, I'm hollering at you. Get me, hit at me, get at me on my blog, y'all. I'm going to get at y'all on y'all Facebook pages. Then you know I'm here. I'm still here. Peace out.